For centuries, humans have been fascinated by the possibility of life beyond our own planet. Thanks to groundbreaking technology like the James Webb Space Telescope, which is the most advanced telescope ever created, we're closer than ever to unraveling this age-old mystery. Recently, while studying Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system to Earth just four light years away, scientists have stumbled upon something truly intriguing on one of its planets, Proxima b. They've detected unusual phenomena known as artificial lights, sparking intense curiosity among the scientific community. Could these lights hint at the presence of intelligent life? Join us as we delve into the chilling revelation from James Webb's exploration, the discovery of what appear to be city lights on Proxima b. As far as we know, Earth is the only place teeming with life in the vastness of space. Yet, humanity has pondered the possibility of extraterrestrial life since ancient times. In 1984, American astronomers Jill T. and Thomas Pearson took a significant step forward by launching the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SETI, project. This non-profit initiative aims to scan space for radio signals, utilizing the unique capabilities of the Allen Telescope Array, a network of 42 radio telescopes nestled in California's Cascade Mountains. Despite decades of diligent search, no concrete evidence of alien communication has been found, leaving us still wondering about our cosmic neighbours. Following that, the successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope has significantly advanced our ability to explore distant planets orbiting stars far beyond our solar system. This remarkable telescope, the largest in the world, floats about a million miles away from Earth and is equipped with highly sensitive detectors. Just two decades ago, our knowledge of planets outside our solar system was limited to those within it. However, since then, over 4,000 exoplanets have been identified orbiting other stars. According to NASA, the number of exoplanets in the universe could be in the trillions. The first indicators of extraterrestrial life might come from studying alien vegetation. An interesting discovery occurred when the Galileo spacecraft redirected its instruments back towards Earth while en route to Jupiter. It detected a clear sign of plant life, the Vegetation Red Edge VRE, biosignature, which is a combination of red and infrared light reflected by plants. For example, a planet resembling Earth covered in dense foliage would emit a strong and easily detectable VRE signal. The James Webb Space Telescope JWWST, will analyze the VRE of distant Earth-like exoplanets located within the habitable zone of their stars. These signals could provide crucial clues about potential life in the atmosphere of these exoplanets. When sunlight passes through an exoplanet's atmosphere during its transit in front of its host star, the JWST may be able to intercept it. By using spectroscopy, the telescope can identify the missing wavelengths caused by atoms and molecules in the atmosphere absorbing specific light wavelengths. This creates a unique spectral signature that the JWST can analyze to determine the atmospheric composition and assess the potential for life. This innovative method holds promise for identifying habitable exoplanets and unraveling the mysteries of life beyond our solar system. The potential for life exists on Earth-sized planets with atmospheres similar to ours, rich in oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. One intriguing approach to detecting technologically advanced civilizations involves searching for unusual elements. For instance, Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, commonly used in refrigerants and cleaning agents, could stand out to extraterrestrial observers studying Earth's atmosphere from afar. If the James Webb Space Telescope were to detect CFCs in the atmospheres of other planets, it would strongly suggest the presence of a developed civilization. However, life on exoplanets may not resemble Earth's life forms at all. Even within our own planet, there are extremophiles, organisms, mostly bacteria, capable of surviving in harsh environments where most life cannot. 
Some humans can withstand temperatures as high as 250 degree F, while others thrive in highly acidic conditions with pH levels below 3. Given that planets similar to Earth are more likely to harbour life than those with extreme conditions, it makes sense to focus our search on such candidates. Ideal candidates would have temperatures conducive to liquid water on their surfaces and orbit stable stars, like our Sun, classified as a yellow G-type star. For centuries, humans have pondered the possibilities of life beyond our world. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity is closer than ever to finding answers to this age-old question. During observations of the nearest star system, Proxima Centauri, just four light years away, scientists have detected peculiar anomalies on one of its planets, Proxima b. These anomalies, referred to as artificial lights, have left the scientific community intrigued and puzzled. What could they be? Do these lights hint at the presence of intelligent life on Proxima b? Join us as we delve into the thrilling discovery of city lights by the James Webb Space Telescope. Life as we know it exists solely on Earth. Throughout history, humans have pondered the possibility of life existing elsewhere in the vast universe. In 1984, American astronomers Jill T. and Thomas Pearson initiated the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SETI, project to embark on this interstellar quest. SETI's non-profit mission focuses on capturing radio signals from space, as radio waves can traverse great distances and are more likely to be detected by the 42 radio telescopes comprising the Allen Telescope Array in California's Cascade Mountains. Despite decades of effort, no concrete evidence of extraterrestrial signals has been found. Subsequently, the successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our ability to explore distant planets orbiting stars beyond our solar system. This extraordinary telescope, the largest in the world, floats approximately a million miles from Earth and is equipped with remarkably sensitive detectors. Just two decades ago, our understanding of planets was confined to those within our solar system. However, since then, over 4,000 exoplanets have been identified orbiting other stars. NASA suggests that the universe may host trillions of such exoplanets. The search for signs of life beyond our solar system may begin with extraterrestrial vegetation. During its journey to Jupiter, the Galileo spacecraft redirected its instruments towards Earth and detected a compelling indication of plant life. The vegetation red edge, VRRE, biosignature, a combination of red and infrared light emitted by plants. For instance, a planet resembling Earth covered in dense foliage would emit a distinct and easily detectable VRE signal. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will scrutinize the VRE of distant Earth-like exoplanets located within the habitable zone of their stars, potentially offering vital clues about life in their atmospheres. When sunlight traverses an exoplanet's atmosphere during its transit in front of its host star, the WST may intercept it. Through spectroscopy, the telescope can identify missing wavelengths caused by the absorption of specific light wavelengths by atoms and molecules in the atmosphere, creating a unique spectral signature. This method holds promise for determining atmospheric composition and assessing the potential for life on exoplanets. Life may thrive on Earth-sized planets boasting atmospheres akin to our own, characterized by abundant oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. In the pursuit of identifying technological civilizations, one strategy involves searching for uncommon elements. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, commonly used in refrigerants and cleaning products, could potentially catch the attention of extraterrestrial observers surveying Earth's atmosphere from afar. The discovery of CFCs in planetary atmospheres by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, would serve as a compelling marker of advanced civilizations. However, life on exoplanets might diverge significantly from Earth's familiar forms. Even earthly extremophiles, organisms, notably bacteria, capable of thriving in harsh environments, can appear alien. These resilient life forms endure extreme conditions, from intense heat, 
up to 250 degree F to acidic environments with pH levels below 3. Given that Earth-like planets are more conducive to supporting life than those with extreme temperatures or acidic conditions, focusing initial exploration efforts on such candidates is advisable. Ideal candidates would boast temperatures conducive to liquid water on their surfaces and orbit stable stars, such as our Sun, classified as a yellow G-type star. While yellow G-type stars like our Sun are less common and have shorter lifespans, red dwarf stars present more abundant opportunities for studying exoplanets. These stars, more prevalent in the universe, exhibit lower luminosities and temperatures. Their longer lifespans afford ample time for life to emerge and evolve into complex forms. Approximately 40 light years away from Earth lies the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system, the focus of JWST's inaugural mission. Orbiting a serene red dwarf star are seven Earth-sized rocky planets, with three situated within the so-called habitable zone, potentially harboring liquid water on their surfaces. Despite the TRAPPIST-1 star's smaller and colder mass compared to our Sun, its planet's proximity results in radiance akin to that of Earth. The most promising opportunity for humans to witness city lights beyond our solar system lies with Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star located 4.25 light years away from the Sun, making it our nearest stellar neighbor. Proxima Centauri emits about 600 times less light than the Sun, requiring a planet to orbit it at a distance 20 times closer than Earth's distance from the Sun to sustain liquid water-based life. On August 16th, astronomers identified a planet with 1.3 times the mass of Earth within this habitable region, akin to a Goldilocks zone where conditions are just right for water to exist in its liquid form. This planet, named Proxima b, orbits Proxima Centauri at a distance of only 4.6 million miles. Despite its proximity to its host star, Proxima b faces challenges. Its tight orbit exposes it to intense solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere, yet it receives enough sunlight to potentially maintain temperatures suitable for liquid water similar to those found on Earth. Proxima b is likely tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star, resulting in permanent day and night regions with significant temperature fluctuations. Additionally, its close proximity to Proxima Centauri subjects it to high levels of high-energy radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, particularly during star flare-ups. However, Proxima b's potential for habitability remains uncertain. Its atmosphere may undergo rapid collapse due to the freezing out of volatile gases on the night side unless it possesses mechanisms like volcanic activity or a strong magnetic field to replenish and retain its atmosphere. The presence of an atmosphere would imply the existence of seas, and together they suggest the possibility of life. Speculation extends to the potential development of a sophisticated civilization on Proxima b, perhaps utilizing solar panels on the day side to harness energy for lighting and heating the night side, which would otherwise be too cold and dark for habitation. The discovery of Proxima b has sparked a race among scientists to ascertain whether it passes in front of its star as observed from Earth. Such transits would offer crucial insights into the planet's size and mass, enabling scientists to determine its density and confirm its rocky composition, shedding light on the materials comprising its surface. However, the chances of witnessing a transit are slim, with the alignment probability being just 1.5%, compounded by the star's tendency to flare. Astronomer David Kipping of Columbia University highlights the complexities involved, noting that rocky planets like Proxima b absorb sunlight and emit it as infrared radiation, distinct from that of stars like Proxima Centauri. Fortunately, the James Webb Space Telescope is ideally equipped to study infrared radiation, crucial for analyzing Proxima b's atmospheric composition. Moreover, the telescope's affinity for the infrared spectrum ensures consistent observation capabilities. The day side of Proxima b is likely adorned with solar panels, capitalizing on its unique spectral characteristics to reflect starlight and generate energy. 
As the planet orbits its star, it experiences uniform day and night periods, with evening temperatures cooling after daytime highs. However, the presence of an atmosphere or ocean would moderate temperature differentials between day and night, with bare rock compositions resulting in more pronounced variations. In the absence of an atmosphere, Proxima b's day and night sides would exhibit stark temperature disparities, with the day side radiating energy received from Proxima Centauri as black body radiation. Conversely, the night side would present an icy, desolate landscape. These intricate dynamics underscore the complexities of understanding Proxima b's environment and its potential habitability. A less pronounced temperature contrast between the day and night sides of Proxima b could suggest the presence of an atmosphere. Fortunately, the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, will only require 11.2 Earth days to measure the infrared radiation emitted from both sides of Proxima b after completing a full orbit around its star. If Proxima b does possess an atmosphere, the next crucial step will involve analysing its composition. Detection of gases such as oxygen, water vapour and methane particularly could signify potentially habitable conditions, if not indicative of actual life. However, capturing starlight as it interacts with or traverses through the planet's atmosphere presents significant technical challenges. Yet, the capabilities of the web are limited to closely examining only a select few of the nearest potentially habitable exoplanets, as its primary function isn't specifically designed for detecting extraterrestrial life. Moreover, its capabilities are restricted to monitoring variations in atmospheric concentrations of methane, carbon dioxide and water vapour. Detecting free oxygen, a potent indicator of life, remains beyond the JWST's scope. However, one of the forthcoming ground-based observatories, the Extremely Large Telescope, slated for operation in the mid-2020s, promises to conduct comprehensive atmospheric analyses. Although the JWST may have the capability to detect ozone among other substances, the full potential of these forthcoming telescopes will not be realised until they become operational. Yet, the JWST's data will provide valuable insights for future endeavours. Future space telescopes may adopt innovative techniques such as employing internal masks or deploying large external satellites resembling umbrellas to mitigate the overwhelming glare of a planet's host star, thus enhancing the observation of reflected starlight from the planet. Such advancements will greatly facilitate the study of distant celestial bodies. Regrettably, many gases produced by earthly life forms can also originate from non-biological sources. For instance, methane, a gas emitted by both cows and volcanoes, can also be generated by sunlight, which converts water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen during photosynthesis. In the quest for extraterrestrial life, astronomers are bound to encounter false positives. Therefore, it's imperative for astronomers to possess a comprehensive understanding of a planet under scrutiny to discern whether its geological or atmospheric processes resemble potential biosignatures and to effectively eliminate false positives. The next phase of exoplanet research holds the promise of providing compelling evidence necessary to confirm the existence of extraterrestrial life. The initial data from the James Webb Space Telescope offers a glimpse into the significant advancements on the horizon. The question of whether life exists elsewhere in the universe remains one of the most profound inquiries in science. The cosmos could teem with life, or conversely, we might find ourselves solitary inhabitants on a solitary planet in the vast expanse of space. In either scenario, it's likely that significant philosophical or psychological adjustments will be required among humanity as we come to terms with the eventual resolution. Thank you for joining us for another episode. While you're still here, be sure to click on the video on your screen for more captivating content about space.